Congressman Gonzalez of Texas and Winstrip of Ohio, they introduced a bill last year declaring fentanyl a weapon of mass destruction. The Stop Our Scourge Act wasn't passed last session, but a GOP-led House presents a ripe opportunity to reintroduce that bill. Republican Congressman Brad Winstrip of Ohio joins me now. Congressman, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Tell us how your plan, uh, how it stops fentanyl deaths, how you think it can get to Biden's desk if reintroduced this session. Well, uh, first of all, you just heard very clearly the serious nature of all this, and I think most of America knows because it seems like almost everyone knows somebody or some family that's been touched. But the Stop Our Scourge Act or the SOS Act that we put out last term and plan to reintroduce again this term uh, would make fentanyl, illicit fentanyl, I might say that as a physician, that fentanyl does have a good use in medicine when used properly at the right doses. But illicit fentanyl would make it a weapon of mass destruction. And one of the things that we look at in the bill is how we can, might be able to work with the Mexican military counter drug operations. We know it's tough because of the cartels. We also seek a willingness of the People's Republic of China to stop this flow. And we want to uh, see and assess our efforts, uh, our efforts uh, against trafficking. And this would include illicit fentanyl, its analogs, and its precursors. So we're trying to empower all federal assets that we can and agencies to engage and work together to try, to try and stop this. It's obviously very deadly. It is ruining a generation of Americans, 18 to 49, are the age. It's a number one killer in that age group. So, you know, it was interesting. I met with the Chinese ambassadors a few months ago. And uh, I brought this up because I had been in China about seven years ago, and they, at that time they were sending fentanyl directly into the United States. In 2019, they came out with a policy that they would not send any finished fentanyl, but they're taking the precursors of what you need to make fentanyl and now sending it to chemists, highly educated chemists that work for the cartels in Mexico. And, and the ambassador said, we don't like being blamed for this. I said, well, then let's do something about it with us. Let's start tracking where you're sending those precursors. We can track with you. Maybe we can work with the Mexican government and track this and try and stop them from getting into the hands of the wrong people because they are legal, but at the same time, they're creating this deadly illegal substance. Well, he didn't really want to have much to do with that. Well, we, we appreciate you drawing attention to it, Congressman. Um, unfortunately, in a lot of the media, you don't hear these stories. They're not focusing on it. The border is not an issue for them. Uh, obviously, been an issue for so many families, but we're grateful to be able to, to cover these things on Newsmax. But as I know you've heard and our audience has heard, so many people aren't getting Newsmax right now. We've seen the bias behind the scenes over at AT&T and DirecTV when it comes to censoring our conservative voices, censoring Newsmax. Um, Speaker McCarthy has already announced hearings will be coming very soon. Soon. Um, when you look towards those hearings, what questions do you have that, that you would like answered? Well, I would want to know what the reason is. You know, why are you limiting people's access to a legitimate network that's out there that's bringing news to the American people? And uh, certainly that's got to be one of the questions. What's the motive behind that? And uh, it, it certainly hurts because you are trying to get the message out everywhere we can about something right now in this particular case that's killing so many Americans. And I'm going to take the opportunity I can on any network, uh, CNN or any network, to talk about the truth of what's going on and what we are trying to do to, to stop this. You know, keep in mind, you know, Joe Biden. Uh, in his campaign, he made promises, but he halted the wall, and we've seen more people come across since he's been president. I read four and a half million illegal entrants since he's been he, president of the United States. And he wants to stop. He has Title rolled out the red carpet. Yep. Congressman, always a pleasure having you on the program. Appreciate the great work that you're doing. Congressman Brad Wenstrup, thank you for being here tonight. Thank you.